Alright guys, um, um, just like Ray, I'm gonna do a game in memory, not really in memory because it's still there, but, um, yeah, in tribute of the last, uh, in, the, in tribute of the ending of Harry Potter, basically. I am gonna do the Chamber of Secrets for the Game Boy Advance. Um, this was one of my favorite games. For the advance that I can remember in a really long time. But hold on. <clears throat> okay, where is it? Man, my visual boy advances at freaking 15. Alright, <clears throat> here we go. Now, it has been a long time, so I'm probably not gonna remember. Probably not gonna remember anything about what to do, but that's okay. Harry Potter lived in number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son, Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he was, wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. I think I skipped this earlier on accident. Uh, I remember reading it, then I hit something and it skipped it. <laughs> Dobby warned Harry not to return to school. Harry Potter... No, I'm not even gonna try. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. There's... A... <laughs> Make most terrible things happen. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Look, it's Ron! Dobby disappeared and shortly after Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry collected his things, scrambled through the bedroom window and into the back seat of the car. Fred revved up the engine and it flew off into the night sky. <clears throat> Confused by what Dobby had said, the four boys wondered why Harry should not return to Hogwarts. Maybe it's just another one of Draco Malfoy's jokes, suggested Ron. Who else hates you as much as Malfoy? I'd rather face Malfoy than stay with Dursley, said Harry. Don't worry, Harry, said Ron. You can stay with us. After flying all night, Fred got the car down through the clouds and they landed with a bump. Harry looked out for the first time at Ron's house, the burrow. It looked as if it had once been a large stone pig's high, but extra rooms had been added <clears throat> here and there until it was several stories high and so crooked it looked as though it was held up by magic. Well, a few days later, after a huge breakfast, everyone was preparing to go to Diagon Alley. Hermione had written a letter suggesting they all meet and buy their school books together and get ready for the new school year. Ginny, Ron's sister, was going to be starting her first year at Hogwarts and she then was coming along too. Oh, look how small Ron is. <laughs> Miss Weasley grabbed a flower pot from the fireplace and handed it to Harry. What's this, said Harry? It's flu powder, replied Mrs. Weasley, and we're going to use it to travel to Diagon Alley. They sprinkle some, just sprinkle some onto the fire and step into the flames. And Harry, remember to speak clearly. Do not, we do, you do not want to get lost. Harry stood in front of the fireplace and threw a pinch of flu powder onto the fire. A roar of emerald green flames engulfed the fireplace, and Harry stepped inside. Harry spluttered, D Diagon, yeah. And was immediately engulfed. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Harry. Yeah, in the movie, he says diagonally. <laughs> Harry fell forward onto a cold stone floor, dizzy and bruised. He got gingerly to his feet. That's okay. You can just go on and continue without letting me finish reading. It's a good thing I finished, actually. He landed in some kind of strange wizard shop. Unsure of where he was, he swiftly made his way to the door, but saw two people through the glass. One of them was the last person he wanted to meet when he was lost, Draco Malfoy. Harry quickly hid inside a large flat cabinet and peeked out through the slats in the door. Seconds later, a bell clanged, and in stepped Draco along with what looked like his father. An old shopkeeper appeared, and Mr. Malfoy arranged to sell some rather suspicious-sounding items. See you tomorrow, then, Mr. Borgen, said Mr. Malfoy. 
Wow, five minutes for just the introduction. <laughs> the Malfoys left the shop, and Mr. Morgan disappeared into a back room. As soon as all was clear, Harry quietly slipped out of the cabinet and left the shop. Once outside, Harry found himself in a dingy alley that seemed to be full of shops devoted to the dark arts. This definitely was not Diagon Alley. Harry was lost! Then, from out of the shadows, an old hag emerged, holding a tray of what looked horribly like human fingernails. Not lost, are you, my dear? She croaked. The hag drew closer and closer, and then Harry heard the sound of a familiar, welcome voice. Hagrid, save me! <laughs> Harry, what do you think you're doing in Nocturne Alley? Hagrid, I was lost. Flu powder. Nocturne Alley is a dodgy place, Harry. I don't want no one to... Talks. To see you're down there. This way. Come on. Over here, Harry. Okay. Come on, Harry. You've got to get some money from your vault before you can buy the stuff you need for your second year Hogwarts. Go inside Green Gods and talk to Griffith. He'll take you to the vaults. I'll wait here until you get back. By the way, Harry, you can speak to whoever you like by just going up to him and talking. Okay. <laughs> no joke. Oh, really? <laughs> Press the action button while standing next to someone to speak to them. Okay, well, you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to save. Save, because I don't want to repeat all that. Save. Dang it, save. Thank you. Save complete. Okay, here we go. Now, let's go to Green Gods. Grim, I don't know who you are. I've come to make a withdrawal from Vault 704, please. My name is... I know who you are, boy. There is work being done on the track that leads to Vault 704, so I can't take you there directly. You have to go part of the way on foot, but be careful, it's quite dangerous down there. Some of the goblin workers can help you if you get into any trouble. Okay. Because a goblin would just be like, ah, yeah, walk down there on your own, right? Man, yeah, they're in between. Trip Hook was a bad person. Trip Hook was greedy. But goblins are really just greedy more than anything. I wonder if I can climb up that ledge. It might be something for me up there. Look out for small ledges to climb. Using the control pad, push Harry against the ledge to climb up. Get up. Good boy. I know! Thank you. What's that? A nut! Actually, it's a canut. I wonder what'll happen if I pull that lever. I don't know. If you pull it, you find out. What's that goblin have to say? Firecrafts have a very hard show. You have to fully charge your Fendo spell if you want to get rid of them. Boom! Another Kanad. Yay! I'm rich! Not really. A crystal rock. Whoa. Some food that should help keep my stamina up. I don't know what that was. Ah! That gem cart looks heavy. I wonder if I can move it on that switch. Stand next to a gem cart and hold the action button to grab it. Nah, not yet. Oh, I said hold it. Oh, yeah, hold oh, it. Right. Oh, sorry. Another treasure chest. Yay! Another canut. Wow, these freaking treasure chests are extremely dingy. Just another It's called a canut. Really? I thought it was nice. No. What the hell? Can I? I thought I did, nothing happened. Oh, okay. I was wondering why they were clear. I did that to the one up here, nothing happened, so I just stopped. It was only one hit away, that's why. Okay. Okay. Jump, Harry, jump! I don't remember what else I can do. Objects look like, looks like I remember all. I wonder what it's doing here. Ah. Ah. 
Yay! Now I have a restart point. I'm gonna go over here though. Yep, screw you. What? Look, look. Oh, no! Cauldron cake. I remember I I've never collected all the jelly beans in one of these games. There's so many of them. Another can I? Hey, get back. Oh, really? Oh. Oh, you have to throw it when you have a flippendo spell, huh? Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we can't go that way. Aha. Switch. <laughs> oh. Oh, beautiful. Hey, look, another goblin. Watch out for unstable platforms that give a good boy under your feet. Yay. Who would make a place like this? Hey, that was a... That was a galleon. Stone. Okay, go away now. It's like Zelda! <laughs> Fire crab! Oh, no, you're slugs. Culture cake. You didn't learn from the I already have the Lipendo. Oh. It's my first no. spell. Lipendo! What did it say? Incendio? Yeah. I think it was Incendio, yeah. Match that. I think 
think once I beat the Guardian, guys, that'll probably bring me up to about my 20, 25 minute mark, so I'm gonna call it ends after that, but I'm gonna go at least, I'm gonna beat the Guardian. Do. It's gonna 
gonna take me 25 fucking minutes to find the last gem. Alright, uh, You know what, we're gonna backtrack and see if there's anything I missed. I'm so confused! Which gym are you missing? You're in it, you're there. Oh, you did this thing. No, not fuck. Okay, damn it. That's it. That's all I got down here. Just lead me back to the incendio spell. Can I jump up there? Huh. Oh, Harry, you always find a way to disappoint me. I want to find out the Oh, I don't 
remember crushing it. No, I thought I remember having. I, yeah, exactly. You don't remember me saying that I get to crush the boulder? <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I know this is a little longer than 25 minutes, but I'm gonna defeat the guardian. I need the spell. Cindy is the one that lights everything on fire. Yeah, I know this one. Yeah. So set the tapestry on fire. Oh yeah. This spell can be used to burn away certain barriers, not as dangerous as real fire, but a magical flame that can remove cobwebs. Yeah, that's nice. Lipendo! So how do I switch spells now though? Like seventy something to one thousand something. I love how it's just magically fixed now. Right. Well, it is a magical game. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna get on this, get out of Green Gods, and call it quits. I want to go save. There we go. Hi, Hagrid. All right then, Harry. You need to get a second year potions kit from Mole Pepper's apothecary. Then you can have, then you can wander around Diagon Alley if you like and check out some other shops like the Magical Menagerie and Gambling Tapes. When you're ready, come meet me at the bottom of Diagon Alley and I'll take you to the Leaky Cauldron. Check your notebook in your inventory whenever you want to see what tasks you need to complete. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna hit my save point. All right. Um. I was 28 minutes long, and I apologize for the length, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this tribute to Harry Potter, and I am going to finish this game, I promise, this time. So um, stay tuned for the next episode, and I'll see you then.